My name is Norma. I'm from Mexico. I'm an artist and also founder of Jam Artists in Homestay. Uh, from November 15th till the 25th, I was in Onomichi, Hiroshima for 10 days. And yeah, it's a beautiful city. <laughs> it was life changing. <laughs> yeah, um, it was my first time. I traveled by myself my whole life. So it was really nice to find myself exploring and learning, but also I was exploring myself and learning about myself and about the city. So it was like a mirror. I was looking at myself through the city. So it was really nice to see. And there's a lot of shrines and temples in Onomichi. So I did a lot of praying. I had like a, I had my Goshuin, Goshuin show, and I had a lot of Goshuin from the shrines. And it was a very spiritual, spiritual experience. Just going to the temples every day was going to different ones. And I think the day I liked the most was when, when uh, but it was raining so much, so I couldn't go out. And <laughs> we stayed in the house and then uh, I was in my room doing my stuff and my host Tomomi-san, she was in the kitchen working. We were chatting on Messenger like, oh, it's a nice day. And <laughs> so that was really nice day and relaxing. So yeah, I think that's one of my favorite memories, feeling like home. This is a new artwork and that one there, but uh, we can go there later. Um, so this one here, uh, it's the pictures of the people I met in the homestay. Uh, actually my trip uh, started before I went to Anomichi because uh, for my work they sent me to Kyoto and I met other people that also kind of started, like the trip started before it started, if you know what I mean. I met people that started uh, giving me inspiration and then I went to Onomichi and that was like the whole uh, thing and then after that I went to Kansai and I've been living in Japan almost seven years but I never been to Kansai before and I always wanted to go to Kyoto so I went to Kyoto I went to Fushimi Nari and that was like the perfect finish for the whole experience so this is the pictures of the people I met and I like they were important during the whole experience so I asked them I can I take a picture of you and I I will send them a postcard with the artwork later uh, I was talking with people in Japanese even my Japanese is not too good so it was really nice to find myself speaking a lot even like trying to explain complicated things with simple words this is my host here. A nice face. Yeah, and uh, these two people here, uh, I I got my handmade hanko. Oh yeah. And uh, this this uh, is a family that has been making handmade hanko for more than 200 years. Like a Meiji Meiji era from Meiji era until now. So I feel really happy to have it. Yeah. Very nice, very cool. Yes. My artist name yeah. is Norma Pesadilla. Yeah. Pesadilla means nightmare oh, in Spanish. So the kanji here is akumu. <laughs> very and, cool. Yeah, and it was really nice because they were like, wow, that's a really original <laughs> hanko. <laughs> so they were really happy and they asked me to send them the pictures later to show their family because they were so proud. So they were really nice people I met. This is very old painting. I made it in 2014. Um, I always work with my emotions and my life. So this is, um, I got divorced in 2012. So for um, 2012 until 2013, I took a picture of my face every day at the same time. So when I made this, I chose 100, 100 pictures 
And um, since I've been living here, I'm always working. So I'm always working, working since I live in Japan. So I don't have a lot of time to make art. So also going to Onomichi was our time for Norma without worrying about work and anything. So taking this painting out of the closet, uh, even if it's wrinkled and damaged, it's a metaphor for coming back to art and taking it out and yeah, rediscovering myself through art. This is uh, the four elements, water, fire, earth and wind. Um, I was surrounded by nature and in Tokyo you don't have nature, it's just concrete. And in Onomichi I had the sea, I had the mountains, I had... And I had a fuel, fuel heater, so I had fire because it was fire itself in my room every night. So I had the whole elements, but also that experience was like a rebirth of my soul, like of my, like COVID has been hard for many people and people lost their jobs or, so it was really hard for me because I had so many plans and I wanted to do so many things and I couldn't, so I was very sad and I think this trip was recovering from that sadness. So that's why also like after having the elements around me and the time for praying, uh, I feel happier and yeah, so that, that, that. Yes, this is happy, happy, but but with crying, happy tears. <laughs> yeah. Happy crying. Yes. I uh, I thought about jump uh, three years ago uh, because I felt grateful. I'm living in Japan and I can have exhibitions in Japan. So I wanted to find a way to bring Mexican artists to Japan and in a cheap way so they don't have to spend too much money. So that's how we created Jam to bring the artists and they stay with other artists and share. Because it changed my life and I want to keep doing that for others. So I think that's the most important. Sorry. Thank you very much. Thank you.